So I've been getting a lot of questions today about Padlet Pro. I sent a video and emails out earlier explaining how to import old Padlets into Padlet Pro. And there's a couple other details that we need to discuss. First of all, logging in. When you log into Padlet Pro, you must log in with the link mpsct.padlet.org. Do not use Padlet.com. That is the old Padlet. What I would do is to copy this login page into my bookmarks toolbar. All you have to do is click on the lock icon at the beginning of the URL and drag it to your bookmarks toolbar. And there it is. So I can be back on Google.com, for example. I click log into Middletown Public Schools, and here we are. So now I just follow the prompts, log in with Google, choose my account, and I'm logged in. So this is our Padlet Pro and dashboard. All of the Padlets that you either created in Padlet Pro or imported from Vanilla Padlet will live here. So let's go into my test Padlet to demonstrate some of the settings that you should definitely check out. If I click on the gear cog icon, I can alter the settings of my specific Padlet by changing the title, giving a description. I can change the icon for the Padlet or choose no icon. I can choose the wallpaper for my Padlet from either solid colors, gradients, textures or patterns, pictures, or I can upload my own. I can choose the color scheme. Change the font. Under posting, we have attribution, so will the author's name display above each post? A lot of people have been asking me about why do I now see anonymous attached to each post instead of a student name. First of all, make sure attribution is checked, and then I will show you the student side in just a moment. Do you want comments to be available for each post? This might be useful for promoting conversation amongst your class. Do you want to allow reactions such as likes, up or down votes, stars, or grades? Do you want posts to have to be approved by the teacher before they are posted in your Padlet? Do you want to filter out profanity? When you're done modifying these settings, you can click on Save and Close. As far as sharing this Padlet, we're going to click Share. So here, we can invite people to collaborate on this Padlet by clicking Add Members. Type in the collaborator's name, choose them from the drop-down list, then choose their permissions. Can Write allows them to add posts and view the posts, but they can't do any management activities. So if you want the collaborator to be able to edit other people's posts or have full access to the Padlet as you do, you would choose one of these two. Can Write is the standard level that you would want to have available for your students. The privacy of your Padlet is an important setting. This determines who can see the Padlet. I've received a couple questions today about people seeing a Padlet from one of their colleagues that they were invited to see. So the setting here will control who can see your Padlet. So if I go to change privacy, the least restrictive is org wide. This means anybody in our school district can see a Padlet. The setting you will likely want is secret. With this setting, anyone who has the Padlet link can see the Padlet. When you post a link for your Padlet in a Google Classroom, your students will click on that link and only they can see the Padlet. If you want to lock down your Padlet a little more, you can choose password so that only people with the password can enter your Padlet. And private basically prevents anyone from seeing it. Visitor permissions can write is where we want to set for our students. If you allow them to edit, they can edit other people's posts. Click save after you have finished modifying your settings. Here's where you'll find the link to your Padlet. You can copy this link and post it in Google Classroom. You can share straight to Google Classroom. Choose your class, 
choose if you want this to appear as an assignment or an announcement or anything else. Tab is already linked to the assignment. Choose the class that it's going to go out to. Choose the students if you want it to go to individual students and post. Close this window when you're finished. And you have options to save as an image, PDF, CSV, Excel, or print the Padlet if you choose. As the student, I can view the announcement where the Padlet was posted. Click on the link. And here is the, the Padlet I'm viewing as a student. If I write a post, you'll notice it shows up as anonymous. How I can change that is by logging into Padlet. So in the upper right, I have login, and again, this is as a student. And I would follow the same prompts, login with Google, choose my district account from the list. And now I'm on my Padlet dashboard. I can close this tab, click on the link in Google Classroom again, and this time I am logged in. Now when I initiate a post, my name is attached to it. I hope this answered some of your questions. Please reach out to me with more and I will make as many videos as needed to help you out with this new endeavor. Have a great day.